What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing a beer from the Tall Tales Brewing Company, and they are out of Parsonsburg, Maryland, and this is their My Boy Blue. So they're calling this one a kettle sour that is brewed with blue raspberry and lemonade, comes in at 6.5% alcohol by volume, no IBUs list in time of review. I don't know exactly how old this can is, and that's because it does not have a can on date, but this can was sent to me by a very good friend of mine and viewer of the channel, Alex. So thank you very much, Alex. I'll post a link in the description box to the beer mail unboxing video I did that contains all the goodies that Alex sent my way. And uh, when I opened up the uh, beer mail, I was like, never heard of Tall Tales Brewing Company, never heard of this beer, but it sounds interesting. And uh, Alex was like, I think you'll enjoy it. And uh, I think I will too, based on uh, what they see here, say here on the side. It says, if you close your eyes only for a moment, this beer will make you realize we are all just dust in the wind. This d delicious kettle sour is a blend of blue raspberries and lemons that will streak your taste buds with flavors that you cannot imagine. Go old school and have a pint. You're my boy, blue. 6.5%. So on the front says blue raspberry and lemonade kettle sour. Um, here's the thing. Uh, when it comes to blue raspberries, like they actually exist. I believe they're called like white bark raspberries or something like that. I remember hearing about it years ago, but I'm curious if they're going to actually be using like blue raspberry flavoring and if they use like, you know, some kind of uh, food coloring to make it, you know, crazy color or whatnot, because I've never seen really, I, I don't think places brew with actually authentic blue raspberries. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm sure some places have, but I don't know. I'll be interested to see the color on this one. Love the old school reference. Fantastic movie. Uh, you know, the, the label, the, the fact that they were talking about Dust in the Wind, which fantastic uh, in the in the actual movie itself. But yeah, anyway, let's crack this one open. Give it a pour here. This has like a neon kind of color. I'm going to think food color and like blue raspberry flavored. So we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. That is straight up green. So definitely food coloring because I don't think blue, blue, blue raspberries would produce a flavor. I'm going to say they're using blue raspberry flavoring, probably brewing with actual lemons. But um, yeah, that... Yeah, that looks like some kind of, you know, crazy Kool-Aid or something. Uh, we'll just say like green apple Kool-Aid it kind of looks like. It's uh, somewhat hazy, but you, know, you can see through it a little bit. Had about a half finger of this like off-white um, colored head. But yeah, it dissipated to a thin film. So that looks like Kool-Aid or something. Crazy looking color. Let's get a nose. Yeah, it's, it's so... Hmm. So I'm getting blue raspberry like flavoring, like if you ever had blue raspberry uh, Kool-Aid or like Hawaiian punch or something like that, that's kind of what I'm smelling. But I'm also smelling this weird like vinegar scent. Maybe a little bit of lemons too. Dude, this smells like Kool-Aid. It looks like Kool-Aid, it smells like Kool-Aid. Anything wrong with that? No, I mean, I like Kool-Aid. I like blue raspberry flavored, um, you know, drinks and candies and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, not much more to say. I'm getting a little bit of a lemon, like a like a straight up like puckering lemon juice underneath of a blue raspberry flavored kind of beer. Um, would I guess sour if I was doing this blind? Probably based on the color. But yeah, anyway, it smells interesting. It looks interesting. Let's see how it tastes. So cheers everybody and thanks again, Alex. Yeah, it's nice. Mm. Yeah, there's not like... This is probably going to be a short review because not a lot to say about this one. It tastes like a semi-alcoholic blue raspberry Kool-Aid. And that's fine by this guy. Like I said, I like, like Kool-Aid. As a kid, loved it. Blue raspberry, yes. Body of this one, 6.5%. This like lower side of medium approaching medium, so fine. The um, mouthfeel on this one, crisp, clean, effervescent. This has a lot of spritzy carbonation, kind of what you expect from it. The taste, blue raspberry flavoring. If you've never had it before, it's kind of hard to explain. You have to try like blue raspberry Kool-Aid or something in that vein to kind of understand what I'm saying, but it tastes like a candied blue raspberry. Not much more to say. The one thing I've noticed like, as I'm drinking, there's this underlying like lemon character that's like a like a tart, almost approaching sour lemon juice. And I'm getting a sitting vibe on the back of the palate, which is really cool. But um, the lemons here, I think they're using actual lemons, the blue raspberry. They might be using like regular raspberries and just using flavoring on top of it. I don't know, but it seems like it's the, the flavoring itself. But yeah, for all that blue raspberry, passes through the palate. 
It continues on with the sweetness from the blue raspberry. Like I said, that underlying like lemon, they say lemon, what did they say? Blue raspberry lemonade. It's just like, you know, like a very tart approaching sour kind of lemon juice. But mid to back of the palate, it starts to dry out a little bit, has like a semi-dry finish and then acidity from the lemons kind of kicks in. So this is sweet up front, dry on the finish with an acidic kind of, kind of vibe to it. Super easy to drink. This would be really refreshing in the summer, mid-summer. I could crush a bunch of these. Um, yeah, not much more to say about it. Like I said, 6.5%. I, I won't say I can taste the alcohol, but I know that it has alcohol because it's clearly a beer. So what this is basically drinking like is if you, I guess, added a little lemon juice to uh, grape or grape to blue raspberry Kool-Aid. reason why I said grape Kool-Aid is I love grape Kool-Aid. A couple flavors I like from Kool-Aid. It's grape. I used to love orange as a kid, but at some point, I believe cherry kind of overtook the orange. So grape and, and cherry Kool-Aid are my favorite. Blue raspberry, probably a distant third, maybe fourth. There's so many flavors of Kool-Aid. I haven't had it in such a long time. I don't know. But this is like a carbonated blue raspberry Kool-Aid with some lemon juice in it. That's what I get from it. And it's pretty good. And I like it. Um, I think this is unique. I think Alex, that's what he said. He was like, I think you'll enjoy this one. It's quite unique. Yeah, I've never had anything like this just because I've never had you know, a beer that, that has like a blue raspberry flavoring and have food coloring like this. So it looks cool. It tastes pretty good. And yeah, it's just a unique beer overall. So rating on the My Boy Blue from Tall Tales, I'm gonna go low four out of five. I'm gonna go 3.9 out of five. I think it deserves a 3.9 out of five. It's nothing like amazing or whatever, but I think if you like Kool-Aid and it's more specifically blue raspberry Kool-Aid or something akin to that, and you want to try it in beer form at 6.5%, I think this is, yeah, I think they did a pretty good job with it. So a price and availability, I have no idea. Uh, like I said, I couldn't find the date on the can. This could be anywhere from, you know, two months old to six months old. I have no idea. So Alex, chime in. Let me know uh, the age of this one if you remember when you bought it. Um, and as far as the price point and availability goes, I don't know. I would imagine this is probably not higher than like 15, 16 bucks a four pack. If this is under $4 a can, yeah, I think that's a pretty cool, a pretty good value for something like this. It'd be fun to try. I would definitely buy this again if it was under four bucks. Just, just to kind of, I think I would like throw it in like, um, I throw it in like uh, blind beer reviews, like the Who Done Inside Do. I'd send it to you know my beer tubing friends and be like, uh, see if they can guess it. Um, the availability, I have no idea as well. So Alex, chime in. Price availability. What do you think the date of this can is? I'd really appreciate it. As much as I appreciate you sending this one my way, and thanks to everybody stopping by for another beer review. If you've had this one before, or any kind of beer with food coloring in it or blue raspberry flavoring, let me know what you think. Um, I think it's, like I said, I, to me, this is drinking, like I said, a carbonated Kool-Aid that has some kind of lemon juice in it, and it has a blue raspberry flavoring. That's what it kind of hits me with, and I'm fine with that. So anyway, appreciate everybody stopping by. Until the next one. Cheers.